Hey guys, Rick from Project Maple Seed. Wanted to go through a uh, DIY walkthrough uh, for Project Maple Seed. We uh, have a fleet of loaner rifles that we provide to attendees in case they don't have it or they've got a mechanical issue with the ones they've brought. Um, and usually, and again, if you uh, watched our video on proper, getting a proper cheek weld, we usually have to adjust these for all the different uh, body shapes and sizes that we encounter in the 30 plus events that we hold every year. Uh, previous to creating these cheek, these Kydex cheek rests, we use vet wrap and foam to kind of shim it, and that was slow, it was tedious, and, and uh, it was also generating a lot of waste. So um, we looked around kind of what the options are and uh, we thought about buying some Kydex cheek rests and they were between $25 for you know, discounted or $50 or more for, uh, for production delivered ones. We thought that we could make it cheaper ourselves and uh, we did. So what we did was we, we sourced some Kydex on Amazon or eBay and I'll put a link to all of the, the products that we use. These are I think 0 .80, 0 0.08 or 0 0.095 thickness. Um, the thickness doesn't really matter that much. It's just it's uh, it's around there, and it's just meant to uh, give you a good solid um, place to put your cheek and get consistent cheek weld. Uh, so we needed uh, Kydex. We needed some two and a half inch quarter twenty bolts, some quarter twenty nuts, and uh, also these uh, these plastic knobs that are available as well. That that basically the uh, quarter twenty nut just drops in there and gives it a more finished look. Once you've got the parts assembled, uh, you need to come up with a template, which is kind of the, uh, the starting point. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll uh, put a PDF of, of uh, I'll scan this, and folks can uh, can use that. If, if you don't want to go through that trouble, you can just basically grab your rifle and get a piece of cardboard and then fold it over in half and then come up with the shape that you like. Just trace it out and then uh, fold it and cut it out and keep trimming until you're happy with it. Uh, that's that's as uh, complicated as as it gets. Now, once you've got that, then you got to figure out how you're going to do this. And if you're just making one off, it's fairly straightforward. You get your Kydex sheet, you trace it out, uh, then you'll cut it out with I don't know what what you'll use some tin snips or a, a saw or, or something that lets you trim Kydex and then sand it on uh, either a belt sander or just hand sanding or a file even just to get that process. Now, because we're making uh, a dozen or almost a dozen uh, I went through a more production production size scale which is basically I, I created a template I've got a router with a bit and I've got a top surface that I'll, I'll screw onto it and then I'll just screw it on and then and route out the shape and then I'll have a, a flat piece that I'll use a heat gun on and uh, basically just take that you know once I've got it cut out I'll, I'll take the heat gun and then put it on top of here and then hold it till it uh, solidifies it's fairly straightforward it doesn't take more than 30 seconds, 45 seconds, depending on how hot your heat gun is. So follow along with me as, uh, as I start from, uh, from scratch and uh, basically go through making uh, some of these. And I'll probably trim these on the table side just to have uh, less waste and um, just make it easier for me. So stay tuned. So just to recap the process, I mean, there's a number of different ways you can you can go at this. This is kind of how I stumbled into uh, the process of making these kind of in a, in a low low volume production method, just to keep things consistent. Um, again, there's no particular sequence. You can you know there's some variability. What I did was uh, I'll trim it to size so it fits into the um, slot routing form that I've got here. But basically, I uh, once I cut it, I'll stick it in here, put the cover on, and then put my router here, run it along that edge, move the router, run along that edge, and then I'll flip the piece over, and then run it along that way, run along again. That gives me two equal, um, two equal um, sets of holes on, on either side. Once that's done, then I'll take my, uh, my shaping mold, and I'll put the, uh, the cut uh, piece of Kydex with the slots routed into it. And then I'll, I'll sandwich it between another uh, hole, uh, hole down, which has um, holes drilled into where the slots are. And then I'll route that with a um, with a pilot bit to get the final shape. And then the last step is to uh, take the heat gun and heat it for you know 30 to 45 seconds, again depending on the heat. And then hold the rifle, and then just uh, clamp it down by hand until it cools down to the final form, and then and drill through. So those are the steps I'm going in. There's probably a faster way to do it, but this is kind of the way I stumbled into it, and uh, it works for the low volume that I need, and uh, it gives me fairly good, consistent results. So anyway, that's it. So uh, I'll come back when it's ready to start trimming, and I'll walk you through step by step. 
All right, so we're ready to uh, start trimming our uh, Kydex pieces to fit into our uh, our slot routing uh, uh, fixture. Uh, what I'll need to do though is, is make sure that I've got it uh, snug enough so that there's not a lot of movement. So because I moved my table saw around, I need to calibrate that. So safety first, put their eyes and ears on. And then what I'll do is I'll cut this a little wide first by maybe a, a, an eighth or a sixteenth. And then make sure you've got your uh, hold downs. This will tend to snap and vibrate, so... Um, perfect. So it gives us a good uh, base to work on. Now we can just cut the remaining three pieces, or two pieces, and then we're good to go. So now we've got them in the uh, routing fixture and we can put our top on. I don't normally do more than one. All right, so in this next step, we're going to route out the, uh, the holes uh, for, the, uh, for the bolts that go through the stock. So what we're going to do is two passes. We're going to do uh, one side, do both, both slots, and then we'll flip the pieces over and uh, cover back on and then we'll do two more slots. I'm going to do all three sheets at once. Uh, when I first started it was, uh, I did one at a time that was uh, taking long. It, it seemed to work okay, but uh, I think we're, we're good to do uh, three at a time here. So eyes and ears. And then uh, we're going to go a couple of passes, just uh, going further down uh, with every, every, every pass. So we'll uh, align it, make sure it's good. So we've taken the uh, Kydex sheets with the routed out slots and we've sandwiched them in this form that we're going to use a, uh, a uh, pilot bit that will uh, follow the outlines of the lower shape and that will give us the uh, final shape of our Kydex cheek rests. finished uh, writing out the final shape and we're just going to remove it from the uh, fixture and we'll take a look. Might be some rough sanding that you need to do to finalize the outline depending on how much chatter you get from, uh, from, the, uh, from the router. So you can see these are these aren't bad. They'll do the job. Uh, the only thing left really is to sand the edges to make sure that they're not uh, sharp or hard but uh, that's certainly more than good enough for uh, for our purposes. So that's it. Um, next step is just to finish sanding, and then I'll show you how we uh, kind of mold it to the stock. All right. So we've got our pieces. We've got our stock kind of just uh, clamped there, and we've got our heat gun. So all we got to do is just heat it up and form it to the shape we want. It doesn't take long. You can get a sense for uh, how hard it is, so it's still pretty, pretty hard. Just carefully don't stay too long in one spot and burn it. Soft. Almost there. So just take that roughly, bend it over in half. Double check that it's equal. And that's it. Thank you. 
it as necessary. So as they say in Project Maple Seed, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then all you've got to do is figure out where you want to drill your holes and then you'll be able to get that range of motion that you need. Repeat as necessary. So there we have it, boys and girls. The, uh, the how-to of turning a shape into three reasonably identical and symmetrical Kydex cheek rests. So uh, feel free to take this and try it out for yourself. If you do, however, start going to the Kydex cheek rest business, don't forget to send Project Maple Seed a donation as uh, your way of saying thank you for. Uh, any, uh, any help this uh, tutorial may have provided. Anyway, thanks again and see you guys on the firing line.